you digging for in there? You looking for a sandwich? Mark says he's not going to talk at all today. He's not going to talk at all. He's going to save it all up for some other juncture, so we'll have to see what he does. Hopefully, he'll say something interesting.
I knew he was driving in his mirror, so I figured he'd let me by instead of taking it into the wall. I'd much rather have him uh, just pull over. We were behind Tim Weens in the Viper, and he, uh, he obviously got uh, caught up in some out there and uh, went in the fence pretty hard. The car's pretty destroyed, so I don't know what they're going to do. No, he didn't hit him. No, thank God. Work to do. It, uh, the car wasn't, it didn't come into its own until the checkered lap. And uh, I think it's because I didn't stay out there long enough to heat up the tires before we started making changes. Uh, my, it was my call, maybe a bad judgment call. Maybe because my head's not in the game, I don't know. And I was a little gun shy after seeing the guy wipe out yesterday, so. Did you crash? No. Then what you did yesterday is what you can do today. Just because he crashed doesn't mean you're going to crash. Just, I'm mentally, uh, just, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't in the game. Like a couple times, I was wide there. Try extra hard to focus when you can't focus. That brain is not here today, even less so than yesterday. Well, we better find it. Dorks want something to eat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This grill just, it's really disappointing. You know, it's got some hot spots in it. You can't get a really good, you know, really good buzz going with a, with a steak. You know, this one's kind of more well done than this one. Over here is cold. It's hot over here. It's good, you know. We'll throw them back in there for a while, see what happens. Crank up the juice. Tony Kester, he doesn't know how to cook anything. He's got a George Foreman grill in his house, disconnected his damn stove. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. He's waiting, waiting for something to eat. Someday, someday Rail makes somebody a really good wife. Right now we have a problem. The car isn't putting the power down. It's not. It's turning too good in right-hand turns. So we're going to make it turn less good by putting more weight on the left front to make the left front slide instead of the left rear slide. The way the corner weights are, there's too much weight on the right front. So we're going to even up the front corner weights and see if, if what works theoretically will work on the track. This is the last uh, practice before qualifying tomorrow. So we'll see if we can get the car down a little bit for tomorrow morning. of the car is sliding. It's not sticking as good as the back. So when you turn the wheel in some of the corners, the car doesn't want to turn. As the lower arm goes down, it's rubbing on the wheel and keeping the car from rolling farther. So we'll probably end up stiffening the rear and the front, keep the whole car from rolling. Hopefully that'll fix it. So now we gotta figure, okay, do we have to stiffen the rear bar all the way? And then put the front bar half stiff? The last time we stiffened the rear bar, it made it push. Everything we've tried to make better just makes it worse. 
that ain't a good thing. Uh, you know, we learn. Learning is great. But you know, we always hope we're moving in the right direction when we, when we learn. And I don't think we did yet. We might have full confidence that we will buy it tomorrow. But today, I think we're going to probably qualify in the top eight, is my guess, because the field seems to know what they're doing here, and uh, we haven't gotten an exact setup yet that we want to get, and hopefully that'll be at the car right now. And I predict I'm finishing today uh, at worst top five, but uh, I'd like to be on the podium. I expect to be on the podium. I'll be happy unless we're on the podium. Walking into work, the best job in the world, other than what it does to your body. My lower back hurts already, <laughs> and uh, it ain't gonna get better. It's only gonna get worse the longer I do this. With Tony, you just gotta make him focus on what he's gotta do. That way he forgets about focusing on things that are extraneous, how he's feeling, what somebody else is doing. So we give him, you know, a plan. And he's got a plan, and he's gonna go out there. We aren't sure how the car's gonna handle, because we went totally the wrong direction yesterday. And now we're not lost, but certainly we know exactly where we're at. So he's focusing on going out, feeling the car out, getting an opening in traffic, because no matter how fast you are, if you get held up by somebody else, it was a waste of time. You only need one lap in qualifying. You don't have to pass anybody. You don't have to go the whole time. You've got to have one lap as good as you can do it. So his focus is feel what the car's doing and do every corner as good as you can do it all in the same lap. We're getting ready for qualifying, and. Uh... Kester's in there eating uh, Fritos. What's wrong with eating Fritos in the morning for breakfast to champions? I wish he had to pick something else to eat. Maybe some, you know, something more minty. If that one's by my breath, he shouldn't get that close to me. Could be part of a problem. That's rubbing on the lower A arm. Yeah, left front A arm was hitting the wheel. Let's find out if that was a problem. So we stiffened it back up to keep it off. The... Now that may be when we stiffened it up yesterday or the day before and it got loose. It could have got it off that. A arm and all of a sudden now it's acting like a real car. I don't know. We know that direction didn't work, so we just went back to this one. Where it's at, we don't know. If it's not I'm manageable. I'm going to lay down a hot lap regardless before I come back in and say yeah, we need absolutely. to do something. Lay down as hot a lap as you can. Don't beat it up. It's like, okay, that's as fast as I can go. Maybe I can get a couple tenths. But if it's not right, fine. Lay down one, then come in. We'll try and make the thing right so we figure out where we're at. Obviously. But make sure you tell us what the car's doing. I mean, don't. Don't just tell me you need some wing or something, but you got to give right, me more right. descriptive. Uh, no, I'm not going to make a bad judgment call like last time. Yeah. Just tell us what it's doing. We'll make the bad judgment calls. Yeah, yeah that's our job. Call. Okay. Tony Kester, he reads all the data and stuff like that, and he's also a driver coach. Um, and he, he tends to try and pump me up, but uh, it doesn't always work. It's, it's, all, it's just the adrenaline in me to get me pumped. But he's uh, he's he's been around uh, me since I started racing. He was. Uh, and my initial driving coach, and I always used to say, and I'll still say it, he gives me two seconds, at least, on the track. And it takes me two seconds faster wherever I go. Getting ready for qualifying here. Got our ears all taped up, got the wax out on the earplugs, got our suit on, got the pad underneath here for the Hans device, uh, and it's time to go. on our head socks, we don't light up on fire. Yeah, you 
gaining weight overnight? Maybe. Stop it. Heading down towards four. Ten four. Uh, there's a little bit of push going over the high speed hump, and there's probably a little push also heading towards the uh, low speed hump. for qualifying. Looks like we're fifth. Hopefully we'll stay that way because we left a little early, but uh, I think we'll stay that way. It's hard to beat fifth. Hard to beat our time. We did good. The qualifying session actually went really well. We uh, got the setup right, which was great, and um, we qualified fifth, which is uh, Tony's best ever qualifying, and that's, uh, that's good for us. So now we got to uh, see how the race goes. We got a lot of laps to do there. So uh, Ray Sorensen, he's pretty much the heart and soul behind this whole team. He uh, he puts everything together. He handles so much stress. He handles so much things. He's always juggling something. If he was the juggler, he'd have 10 things in the air and two things in his hands at all times. He's uh, just amazing. I guess I got dirt on my head. But, uh, the Black Dog Racing Classman Incorporated Corvette uh, has never qualified this well. It's, it just seems to have come to a rhythm here. Uh, this is a, maybe even a Corvette track, per se. It's hard to tell, but... Uh, Everybody's it, gonna say that from now on, anyway. <laughs> yes, they will. Uh, it's, a, it's a good track. It's one of my favorite tracks. I've been here a few times before, and uh, it has a good, good flow for me. My plan is to shoot right in between these guys. If he has a bad launch, that's where I'm going. And uh, that's, that's my game plan from here on out. Trying to kick some major ass. Tony, you remember what to do with that launch control, right? Oh, yeah. Very good. I figure that Porsche in front of you is going to get out pretty good. Time will tell. Four. Can't win it on the first lap. Certainly can. Right up. We need big points today. Make some points. You see the lights okay, Tony? Oh, yeah. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. What it's all about right here. Get through turn one and two clean. Put your head down and go.
steadily improving all season long and now the podium. Oh, it's incredible. It's, uh, it's, it's a first for us up here and uh, it, it's all due to the crew. You know, they, they keep putting a good car into my butt every week and, uh, you know, I try to mess it up out there, but we got lucky today. As the race went on, it went faster and faster. That's the way it's supposed to be. Just a little attrition, but, you know, it's a package deal. The car's got to finish. The driver's got to keep it on the track, so bad for them, good for us. Finished up and on its second place in car number 34. The Black Dog Racing, Kleinschmidt Incorporated, Chevrolet Corvette C6. This is Tony Gables. Don't happen every week, believe me. Wow, that's got to be a monkey off your back. You've been here for a little while now. We had a podium under your belt. Oh, it's good to be up here. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, 
I got to you know, thank the crew and Toyo and all the good sponsors behind us that uh, got us here. Let's celebrate with them. We'll spray around some champagne in a minute. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Tony Gibbos. Oh, it tastes good, doesn't it? Uh, it all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do up there. But we had a good time up there. And that's all it's about, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah.